Hey boys, it's Harm9. Today we're going to be going over what to buy and what to avoid this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. And we actually have a pretty good week on our hands discount wise. And we actually have some okay money bonuses as well. But of course, as usual, we got to start off by talking about the car that is sitting right here behind me. And this is, of course, the Declassy Weaponized Tampa. In my opinion, the best discount of the week. This thing is 40% off and it is available on Warstock Cash and Care. However, this thing is only really good if you've completed your bunker research or if you have a good, a good portion of it kind of completed already. The Weaponized Tampa has a lot of different armaments that you can put on it. For example, it has front mounted missiles that you guys can see on the front there. It also has a rear mounted mortar here on top of having the dual controllable minigun, which is absolutely insane. This thing outputs tons of damage. Of course, all of these things are bunker research upgrades and it also has proximity mines that you can drop as well, which is really, really crazy. Overall, a super awesome vehicle and definitely one to look into this week and definitely check it out because if you got your bunker research done already, you're gonna have everything unlocked for this car. However, if you don't have your bunker research done, it is possible to get it done and just buy the car right now while it's discounted. But anyways, we're gonna talk about how to make some money first this week in online. To get things started, we have triple money and triple RP on all of the drag races that are in GTA Online, as well as all of the drift races that are in GTA Online. So you can make triple money and triple RP with both of these, which can actually lead to you making a decent amount of money, to be completely honest. I would definitely check these out, especially if you're a lower level player. I think these are going to be pretty good for you to make some early game money. However, we do also have triple money and triple RP on select stunt races and new community series jobs like Tropy Tropy City 2 uh, hashtag, for example. So that's triple money and triple RP. And then there's more like uh, G78 curvy oval, for example. That's also, you know, triple money and triple RP. So check these out if you guys are interested, of course. However, we also do have double money and double RP on wildlife photography. For those of you who have it available, it is not available on every platform. It's only on the new Xbox Series S and X, as well as the PS5 version of GTA Online. So keep that in mind. However, on all platforms, we do have double money on the salvage yard daily safe income so you will be making double money with that business for the remainder of this week which could potentially be pretty good if you guys stay on top of your salvage yards so do keep that in mind now speaking of the salvage yard we do have some discounts this week and the salvage yard for i believe the first time ever has actually been discounted on the maze bank for closures website so you can find them here they're going to be this like sort of light blue um place that you can purchase on this map so you can click here and you can see they are 30 percent off this week plus upgrades and renovations now if you are planning to buy one of these this week um, you can really go for either of the tow trucks then you know it doesn't really matter it's mostly about looks for the tow truck i think the regular one is slightly faster in comparison to the beater but I don't know, depending on how much you care, it might not be worth it to upgrade to the tow truck and just get the beater instead. Trade rates allow you to get um, a little bit less. Trade rates allow you to pay a little bit less when you're making claims from Moore's Mutual Insurance and repairing vehicles in Los Santos Customs. So this is kind of worth it, especially if you plan to play GTA online for a very long time. And the staff upgrade will allow you to do vehicle salvaging in half the time. Instead of 96 minutes, it's going to be 48. So these upgrades are kind of worth buying. I would definitely go for the staff and the tow truck, as well as the trade rates. And if you can, the wall safe is also a good upgrade too, because it makes the capacity 250k instead of just $100,000. So you have to check it less often so do keep that in mind as far as location goes for this business i personally kind of think that i have the best one here at strawberry it's more central than the other two i think this murrieta heights location is especially bad but honestly the la puerta one isn't terrible either so either of these two are the ones that i would go for i would definitely prefer strawberry over the other two though so if you guys are looking for one strawberry location seems to be the best in my opinion at least and for discounts on vehicles, we have plenty this week because, of course, we do have that new DLC coming next week, so they're trying to get you guys to spend all your money. To get things started, we have the Ocelot Virtue discount of 40% off, as well as the Anis 300R. The Virtue, everybody knows, is like a super crazy fast electric car in GTA Online. However, you can get it for free by completing the first and last dose missions from the Drug Wars DLC, which is how I would recommend getting one. You get one for free, which is pretty sweet. If you did want a second one or something, right now would be a great time to buy one um, but 
for the vast majority of people, I'd say one is probably enough. And to just do the first and last dose missions, you get paid for them and you get the car for free, which is pretty insane. The Anus 300R is actually a pretty cool vehicle. It has Imani tech upgrades that are available through the Agency Vehicle Workshop, which is pretty sweet. It can take about four RPGs when it has the armor plating upgrade on it. It also has an oil slick proximity mine dropper you can equip and of course the missile lock on jammer, which is pretty nice. The performance of the car isn't amazing, but it's not terrible either. It's definitely one that I would recommend and sort of looking into, especially at this price point. Scrolling a little further down, we'll also find the Lampadetti Corsita as well as the Pegasi Ignis discounted this week. The Corsita is a pretty interesting sports car. It's sort of within the top you know, 15, 20 fastest sports cars in GTA Online. However, it's not that impressive as a vehicle overall. The handling isn't amazing. It does have a pretty high top speed though, so that is the one thing it has going for it. The customization, unfortunately, is a little bit lackluster though. The Pegasi Ignis is one of the better supercars in GTA Online, I'd say probably top 15, and it also has a ton of customization. A little bit of a weaker top speed, but really, really good acceleration and handling. Uh, so that is an added bonus with it. It's definitely the one to get out of these two for sure, in my opinion at least. Scrolling a little further down, we'll also find the Progen Emerus discounted this week, which is definitely a car you should pick up if you have lots and lots of money saved for this DLC that's coming on Tuesday already. However, if you're a little bit on the broker side, I would probably avoid buying any of these cars, but the Emerus is definitely a pretty good one. It is one of the best supercars in the game for racing, and it has really good performance overall. So cool vehicle. Scrolling a little further down, we have the Cheval Taipan. Please, for the love of God, do not buy this thing. It has engine resistance, which makes it way slower than it should be. It is a just terrible car overall. I would absolutely avoid the Cheval Taipan at all costs. This thing completely sucks, unfortunately. And same with the next car here, which is the Grotti X80 Proto. This thing has different downforce depending on the direction you're facing on the map. So if you're heading north, you might be able to get downforce when you're turning right, but if you're coming back south from Polito Bay, you're not going to have downforce when you're turning right or left. Like, it's a broken car. It has barely any customization as well. Overall, it sucks. Please do not buy the X80 Proto. Under the four-door section on Legendary, we also have the Obey Tailgater S from the Two News DLC. It's a pretty interesting car. Good amount of customization. For only 672 grand, I'd say it's kind of worth picking up. However, like I said before, only if you have money for this new DLC that's coming on Tuesday. Day already. Over on Warstock, of course, like I mentioned right at the start of the video, scrolling way down here, you'll find the weaponized Tampa is also discounted by 40% off. So if you guys are interested, it is available here on Warstock Cash and Carry. And last but not least, we have the Declassi Vigoro ZX discounted by 40% off this week as well. One of the best muscle cars in the entire game, and it does have an HSW upgrade if you have HSW available on your platform, making it one of the highest top speed vehicles in the entire game. It's pretty cool. It's definitely one that I would look into this week, especially if you got tons of extra money. However, like I said a few times already, if you don't have tons of money, I would not be buying any of these discounted vehicles because they're trying to get you to buy shark cards. Anyway, guys, that's it for the discounts as well as how to make bonus money this week. We got to go to the casino, the car meet and talk about the vehicles that are available this week in GTA Online at the dealerships and everything like that. So let's get to it. Within the casino, we have the BF Weevil available to be won on the podium this week. It's not that amazing. However, it can be upgraded to the Weevil Custom, which is a lot cooler. Overall, yeah, tr maybe try to win it, sort of, almost, something like that. Within the LS car meet, we have the Fister Comet S2 Cabrio available to be won this week. And in order to do that, you are going to have to place top five for four days in a row in LS car meet series races. This thing's pretty interesting. It's got a lot of customization. However, it still has the same kind of trash handling that the regular Comet S2 has. So that is unfortunate, but overall, I would try to win this. It's a relatively easy challenge this week. And for the other vehicles that are available within the LS car meet to be purchased, we have three removed ones. Starting off on the left, we have the Vapid blade now none of these are discounted unfortunately the vapid blade is a really cool car though it's got a really good launch off the line and it is within the muscle category overall it's definitely one that i would look into this week especially since it's removed the hijack rustin is also a pretty decent car however it's not the greatest vehicle of all time it's pretty fun to drive around though overall you probably won't hate it if you buy it and it is relatively cheap coming in at i believe around four hundred thousand yeah four hundred and thirty thousand dollars which is not a bad price whatsoever so this is one you could consider picking up as well and last but not least we have the pagasi zaruso a supercar that is actually a pretty good vehicle however it is a little on the expensive side for what you're getting 
almost $2 million. I would personally avoid this one this week. I don't think it's the best car, especially out of these three. I would definitely look into the Vapid Blade though. In my opinion, it is the best out of these. In Simeon's dealership, we have the Progen Tyrus available to be purchased this week. This is of course a removed vehicle as well as the Enus Super Diamond, which is also removed. And on top of that, we also have the Dubachi Rapid GT with the convertible top on it. We also have the Rat Bike, which is not worth picking up at all. However, we also have the Canis Bodhi, which is a pretty cool vehicle, and it is Trevor's truck from the campaign, of course. It is a little bit of customization. Overall, it's pretty decent. Uh, not the best performing truck by any means, but for just cruising around in free mode, not too bad. And it's only 25 grand, so I mean, you can't really go wrong with it. The Progen Tyrus is an interesting race car. It definitely gets outperformed by a lot of the newer super cars but it is still pretty cool i think it's a clean car it's definitely one that i would recommend looking into this week because it is removed of course so that is really unfortunate uh, but if you do want it it is here the super diamond costs 250k and it is a rolls royce of course and it is also removed so if you do want it now is a good time to purchase it uh, this thing can drift really well shockingly which seems like something that it shouldn't really be able to do but yeah, it's really good at that. And of course the Dubachi Rapid GT convertible, pretty cool car, has horrible understeer, but overall it is a decent vehicle. Unfortunately, not much in the way of customization though, because it is an OG car from 2013. Tragically, Luxury Auto sucks this week as usual. I mean, sorry, not as usual, no, as usual. Yeah, as usual, it completely sucks. So yeah, the Amagio is here and the Fathom FR36 is here. Go figure. Within the chop shop this week, these are the vehicles that are available to be stolen. And of course, you can keep the Gradi Italia GTO this week by completing the Gangbanger robbery, which is definitely something I would recommend doing if you have access to this. The Gradi Italia GTO is one of the best sports cars, if not the best sports car in Grand Theft Auto Online when it comes to circuit racing in the sports category. It is absolutely insane. It also has a ton of customization, so you can make it look awesome for free mode as well. The Uberox Sentinel Classic is stealable this week, and you can get it by completing completing the Duggan robbery, and the Pegasi Toros is also stealable this week by completing the cargo ship robbery. And of course, last but not least, we gotta talk about your time trials. Your RC Bandito time trial for today is Construction Site 1. Your Junk Energy time trial is Sewer System. Your regular time trial is Galileo Park. And back over here, right beside the Junk Energy time trial, starting right about here, is the HSW time trial. And it starts here and it ends down at Vespucci Beach. Anyway guys, that has been it for what to buy and what to avoid this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you learned something, a like is of course appreciated, if not dislike. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.